What is up everyone? DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. I have a really cool little video on the 10 lamp. It is a DJ slash podcasting kit. It has a lot of little items in it. It's a good value and it works. So I definitely wanted to bring it to you. I've had it for a few months. I just kind of got to play with it a little bit. I have used it for DJing a little bit, but just the actual Ooh. unit itself and the microphone, I didn't get to use all the accessories and everything. So now that I've got to test it out, everything else, I just wanted to put it all together and bring it to you because it is a value from 10 Lamp, this little podcasting kit. So let's get into it. I want to get into everything that's in the box, positives and negatives, and bring it all to you. If you've never tuned into my channel, DJ Martini Midwest Reviews, just know all I like to do is do reviews. I like to go through all the information, do the research for you, make it as easy as possible, and then leave some links on the items that I review in case you're interested. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all my subscribers and let's get into this video today. If I can help you just at all, or you think my content is interesting or helpful at all, please leave a like, subscribe and share. It will very much help my channel and I'll be able to continue to make videos for you. All right, let's get into the video. Let's talk about what's in the box. All right, so in the box, it does come fully in a box, but this is actually the case that it comes in, which is cool. I like that it comes in a case. That means it can be portable. Like if you need to go over to a friend's house and you can bring your laptop, this box, and you are you have a full little studio podcasting center that you can hook up multiple mics to. It only comes with one mic, but you could hook up multiple mics if they have one. And you can do a little interview or you could do a lot of different things with this. Like I said, it is made for... Uh, live streaming, podcasting, video recording, things like that. So you can get a lot of stuff done with this and it comes in this aluminum case. The little rivets are aluminum, but the actual box itself is plastic. It will carry everything, uh, shock mic, everything that's in here. Got foam on here, nice little handle. It, it feels a little cheap, but it is, you know, this whole kit is from China, you know, quickly and mass produced in quantity for sure. But it, it's cool that it comes with the box. It does have a second level here that I have here that your mic that goes right on top of here. So everything fits in there. It's cool that it comes with the box anyways. All right, so let's, what else is in the box? So you will get this nice microphone, which was probably my selling point on the microphone is that it's cool uh, green color. Just really makes it stand out. And they're nice little tin, but it really just sticks out. And I think that was pretty much my selling point. I was like, take my money. That microphone is sweet. That's what kind of sold me. But I do like how the whole kit works as well. In the case, you will get this platform here, the mic stand. You do get the shock mount. You do get the pop filter. You do get the microphone. The microphone actually works very, very well. I was very surprised how well it works with the kit. Now, if you try to use the microphone on its own with different things, I don't think it works as well. I've tried other platforms using it as a microphone for DJ equipment and stuff like that and it doesn't work as well as it does work with this whole kit so if I ever get rid of this kit I'll have to get rid of the, everything with it because everything just doesn't work as well when you're using it with other stuff but with the kit sounds fantastic has great, great volume power. and things like that so other things that I want to talk about is it does come with this cable which is very important because it is a uh, XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack and you don't find those a lot that would be something you probably have to special order but the kit comes with it so it's fantastic all the accessories are plastic and everything but everything looks good feels good has a decent construction has a little tightener there very nice uh, the base is metal the pole is metal and it goes together well so good to go there also in the box you'll get all kinds of 3.5 millimeter jacks this does have the extra band though uh, so just know that they're not just stereo but it will work with your iPhone and things like that to connect to them but you get like three of them so that's cool you also get an adapter for your iPhone which is sometimes left out and I know the iPhone is now going to the USB type C but it's nice that it has that lightning adapter for some of your old equipment comes with a remote as well the remote is cheap it works I tested it something I really wouldn't use that much so but just know that you have a remote that you can use to fire out some of the samples and effects and things like that like I said I wouldn't use it much but it's cool that it's included comes with some 
earbuds, sorry, is the, the, what I was looking for, but yes, and they work, they work decently. They're not fantastic, but good enough to monitor what you're recording. It's cool that it comes in a case. The case is actually really nice. Uh, so that's very impressive. And then here's the actual unit itself. Very plasticky. Knobs are plastic. Everything's plastic. Feels kind of cheap, but it, it matters what's inside and it works pretty good which I was impressed so here's the back side something that you'll definitely have to kind of mess with this is when you get it you're gonna just have to play with it because it has so many features and buttons and things going on that overwhelm you at first but then you'll get it down it does come with some instructions and some little sheets on but like I said this is all in Chinese so you can't really read that one uh, this one is also uh, all in Chinese, so you can't really read that one. So those don't really help you. But the instruction manual is in English, luckily, and that's what you'll need. Most importantly, to know what all the buttons do and how to hook it up, because it is a little different compared to like a normal DJ mixer and things like that, which in, I've been messing with those for years. So it was no problem to look at a DJ mixer and say, oh yeah, that's how it works. But this is a little different. I've never really messed with a lot of these, so it took me a little time to figure it out. Now, on the back, I'm going to get up, and hopefully I can get it to zoom in. But it does have like your broadcast, your music, your audio, earphone, and headset, which to me is like the same thing. And then it has two microphone jacks on the end. Two microphone jacks here. Can't get that to focus, but microphone, headphone, earphone, audio, and podcast, and music. So it does have all these features, and then it has according volume levels to, to make sure that everything is working, and we'll talk about that once we get there. All right, the next thing is I want to show you how to hook it up, of course. Now, you can use a portable power source, like a little battery here. Uh, this is a little this is a big one but uh, you could use a smaller little power bank and you could power this that's what's so cool is that it's portable so wherever you want to go i do have this little mini speaker that i'm going to be using also hooks up to your computer as an audio interface type device so i will plug it into my computer right now and that goes on the very end uh, it says pc or charging and then this i will put straight into my audio so that could be audio going out it's an audio out so that i'll put that on my speaker and then i'll put for my source is music so i'm going to go music in and that's coming from my ipad so i have a music source i have a microphone here that's where we're going to hook up one of our microphones it doesn't matter what jack you use uh, both will are capable for microphone and that's about it now i will say this probably is better for condenser mics because i i believe it's powering this microphone here so that's probably why it doesn't work good with dj because it's not a dynamic mic it's a condenser mic so it does probably get a little power from this unit so something to keep in mind there and it works great go ahead and turn it on a big power button right here on the end hold it down and it will light up all right, so let's now that we got everything hooked up, let's go ahead and fire this up and I'll show you what everything does. So we're gonna go ahead and fire this up. Uh, sorry, I gotta do a long push here. There. Now that it's fired up, you see that it's all hooked up. Uh, everything's hooked up that we need hooked up in the back there. You got your power here. You have your source here. You have a speaker plugged in here and you can see everything is going good there. So now we have master volumes and you can see that the volumes go with the knob, which is kind of cool. You got your microphone volume. Right here you have a mic EQ, which is gonna give you your bass and treble. So if you go, you want more bass, you kind of go down here. You want more treble, you want here. I, have, I keep my treble up to about positive three and it gives it a nice clean sound on the microphone. And then I have a voice changer here, which I keep on zero. Uh, it will put basically some more bass to your voice or some more treble to your voice. And I'll give you a, an example a little bit later. This is a reverb for your voice. This is your monitor level right here. So that's gonna be the monitor 
sound that you're getting from the speaker volume. This is a record volume. Make sure that you turn your, your volume up if you're recording to your laptop, if you're using some kind of Audacity or some kind of program to record on your laptop, that you turn this volume up if you want to be able to hear the sound. This is your music EQ. It's not your volume, it's your music EQ. So if you want a little bit more lows, you go down. If you want a little bit more highs, you go up. So I keep it on that positive three again, which is the sweet, sweet spot. Right here is kind of a like meter. It's your kind of like a gain meter here for your music and a gain meter here for your microphone. And I'll give you an example of that real quick. The microphone, you can see the gain meter going up there. You can also hear me a little bit. And then this is your power button, of course. Then we have all kinds of things going on here. This does have a lot of features to make your voice sound crazy. And I'll give you some examples of that. So right here is your pattern. Now this, so this is your acoustic, which is a live interpretation of your voice. Mic check, 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 check. One, two, three, mic, 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 my volume a little bit. Mic check, 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 there you go. So that's a live interpretation right here. This is karaoke mode, they're calling it. Which puts a little reverb on your voice. Shout and motto. Shout and motto, which I think sounds kind of the same, gives you a little more solid voice, but it's still putting that reverb echo in the background. Once again, same thing, some reverb. And then magic, magic sound mode there uh, gives you kind of like a very low, very white voice, demon voice, very low voice, sounding good. So you can see that that kind of fun to play with there. Now over here, you have your different musical keys. You have A, B, you know, C, D, B, D, E, B. So you can go through all those, but they work along with your pattern. And, you know, this would be a A, a B, you know, and I can go through all those, but you get the point there and you go all the way to the end. You, long hold to shut it off. Now this is, has three voice modes, but I think it actually has five in my opinion because you have the magic sound which kind of gives you that low demon type voice. You have a goddess mode which gives you kind of a female voice. A little female voice. You got a, a male voice. Male, male voice. A children's voice. Children's voice. And then you have a... They say it's a personality megaphone, but I really think it gives it kind of a robot voice. So to shut that off, you just go back to your pattern. There. Now, your dodge button and a pora button. This is for taking the sound out of music. So if you want to cut their voice from the music, you can hit that button. So like I said, this can help you with a little karaoke and then your dodge button is, of course, if you're talking on the microphone and you want the music to go a little bit muted in the background, that's what the dodge button does. And I have some examples for that. But first, I'll just go through all the modes on this. You got Superstar, some is music, some are little phrases, and some are like complete Chinese. So, yeah. All right. your Coco here that was hey Coco that's complete I'm guessing Chinese Chinese and some bullet sounds I don't know what that is Blood, double kill, triple kill, quadra kill, penta kill. That's kill. Kiss. Retreat. Slap. 
Some applause. That's what you guys are doing right now. <laughs> and that was the comedic release. So you could see everything there, no problem. And I'm gonna go ahead and back out a little bit and show you the rest of this thing. All right, but we're back. We went through all the buttons, all that type of stuff. And now you kind of want to know how it works. Well, just to show you that everything works pretty good in my opinion. Uh, I did some audio recordings on Audacity and I wanted to show you the, the audio ducking and then how your microphone sounds with uh, recording too. So it's, the volume's going to be a little loud. I really want you to be able to hear it. So uh, here we go. For audio recordings of my voice and then the next one will be the dodge button which basically mutes the music a little bit so you can hear your voice and then resumes it. You can see how that works. Also just how one of the sound sounds recorded and you can just hear that you know it's pretty decent quality here what is up everyone it is dj martini midwest reviews and you are hot on the tin lamp today we are coming at you on this great day for dj martini midwest reviews all right now here's the uh, the ducky so you got the music and then you're gonna hear my voice and it's gonna mute the music What is up? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel. Today we got this new 10 lamp and we're coming with it trying to see how good of a podcasting station it could be for you and see how good the recording sounds. Let's check it out. That was the audio ducking. Now here's how the buttons sound when you're recording. Maybe a little bit less volume. So those are some examples of how it works. The microphone sounds real crisp and clear, and especially with some post-production, um, some filtering and things like that. I think it sounds really, really good. If you are into podcasting and into that real technical part of it, this actually sounds really good. I was actually really surprised. I'm actually impressed with the microphone. I'm impressed how good it sounds on your laptop as well. I was really impressed with that. So. The recording sounds good, and so if you were using it for those types of things, it's very portable, and it just works. All right, let's wrap this video up, but I did want to show you one more cool thing that it does with the Anaphora. Basically, it is a 85% noise reduction from the vocals in a song, and it does work pretty good, so I just wanted to point that out here. So I'm going to play a quick song that I have. And you're going to hear him rapping, and then I'll push the button, and it will take out that rap. It is reducing that vocal. So I think that does work pretty decently. But I want to show you a song where it's kind of layered and it thinks the vocal is part of the chorus. So you're going to hear it kind of sing a minute, then cut it out and sing a minute. And so it doesn't work fantastic, but it does work. So on a normal song, everything should work good. But if the song's layered a little bit, it's going to have some issues picking that up. Let's go. Yeah, I'm liking that it. Turn well, on the controller. Got a really bad habit. Okay. Gotta grab it like a magnet. Move on habit till I'm doing it. I cast six feet. Got a weird mind. I'm a worse. So you can see that it picks up phrases and kicks on, kicks off, kicks off. So just if the depending on how the song's layered or sounds. That could be an issue so just to let you know i wanted to point that out let's go to positives and negatives on this item positives for sure price point at around a hundred dollars like i said there's a coupon for it you can make it a little cheaper could be a little more expensive but this unit is a great value i think you get a great microphone it's definitely a conversation piece it's green it looks fantastic the microphone and everything is one of my favorite parts of this. The microphone sounds really good with this unit. Um, it is a condenser mic. So uh, I've had issues hooking it up to other. It doesn't just doesn't have the volume that it does with this unit. But who knows, maybe it was specifically made for this. 
so but it does sound great with it and I think uh, I really really like the microphone the stand I like all the extras that you get with it headphones and extra cords things like that so you get a lot with this kit you get the box so it makes it portable as well I definitely like all that about it has tons of features the 24 sounds like five voice changers auto tune with the different musical keys you got the dsp 32 bit that blocks out a little of the background noises as well it works the hardware to software like if you have audacity or some kind of free program that you can record it sounds really good and i kind of gave you an example of that earlier so definitely some positives it also has bluetooth i didn't really go into that but it does have bluetooth so you can bluetooth your phone to it to get music into it so that's a, a one hookup that you wouldn't have to hook up it does have the broadcasting so it has these jacks here that you can use and it will play back into your phone so if you wanted to record into your phone you can do that too and that's what those broadcasting ports are for if you didn't hook it into a usb with your laptop so another option that you could do there you could hook into your phone and you could still get power from a power bank or something which is cool too one other thing I wanted to point out is there is a G3 model, but there is a G3 slash L9 model that has a built-in battery into it. It's the same exact setup, same exact thing, but it just has a built-in battery in it already, uh, but it's in like an extra $49. So I don't know if that's worth it when you could just, if you already have a power bank, you could just plug it into your power bank. So an option for you, I'll leave a link in case you're interested. Now let's go into the negatives on this as well. Just a few. I don't like that it announces everything. I don't know if there's a way to shut that off. If anybody knows, let me know, but I haven't found any way to do that. I'll look into the instructions a little bit more, but when you hit a button, you know, I hate that it announces everything. The original model. I don't think it really needs to announce everything that you do, especially if you're trying to do a podcast and you're hitting a button, you don't want everybody to hear this mode you're in or whatever, so kind of don't like that you can mute it a little bit with that uh in a forum uh, mode it will mute whatever it says a little bit but then if you're playing music it's going to mute the vocals out of any of your music too so if that's something you want to do that's not going to bother you it, it just could be an issue so that's definitely a negative in my opinion that it announces everything that you do i do think that the actual unit itself is chinese so some of the 24 fun sounds that you get are in Chinese, which isn't really going to help you in America. So some of them are kind of useless in my opinion. But if you're in, you know, another country, then you might like some of those. So it could be a positive or a negative. The actual unit itself does feel kind of cheap. Some of the items feel like this class feels cheap. The shock mount feels a little bit cheap, but it works. So can't judge longevity because I've had it a um, while. You know, that's not enough to give it a full test. Every time I've used it, it's worked. It doesn't crackle or pop or do things like that with the volume knobs, but everything is plastic. The buttons are plastic. The knobs are plastic. The volume sliders are plastic. So they feel a little cheap and that they could break if you weren't nice to it. I've been really nice to it. So it is a little, it's a little confusing as well. A little overwhelming when you get it to try to hook it up. So you gotta kinda pay attention to where you're hooking everything in. You might have a little, you might mess up the first couple times, uh, cause I honestly did. But there is some good instructions on actually where all the ports are. There are also good instructions on Amazon. If you just look at some of the pictures, it kinda shows you a, a good map here of how to hook everything in correctly. This one right here on their website or on the Amazon page shows you exactly where to plug in the things so that's nice too but could be a little bit overwhelming if you're first doing it so got to take your time and you know just mess with everything a little bit and you'll get it down i honestly like the device it just works the quality is there it you know you heard some of the sound samples and you could really you could work with it and it's portable so i you know i was actually kind of impressed with it myself you know, there is a few little hiccups and negatives that I don't like about it, but for the most part, it's a cool little system. So lots of ways to use it with podcasting, live recording, uh, some DJ uses, some karaoke uses. Um, so it's kind of cool in that perspective. So that's all I have on the 10 lamp G3 unit. Oh. It's out there. It's $109. There's a coupon on Amazon right now. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. I will leave all the links I can, including for this model and the, the model that's the same model but has a battery. The microphone is fantastic. I'll leave some accessory items that you might need, including maybe uh, some of these quarter jack to 3.5 adapters, an extra cable for another microphone, which is XLR to 3.5. So some things that you might need with this, you might want to pick up. So thank you so much for tuning in. It's been DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. And very soon I have tons more videos. So stay tuned and stay subscribed to DJ Martini Midwest. Talk to you later.